Honey, I'm one of the finalists! Wait, for the, uh, space mission thingy? Yes! I may be going to space after all! Oh, I'm so proud of you, honey. Mwah. Okay, this is probably gonna be tough, so wish me luck! Oh! Bye! Uh, good luck! Welcome to Rotsar. We had over 12,000 applicants, but you are the only ones that made it to the finals. However, only one of you will be chosen for our secret mission. Wait, only one? Don't they usually hire, like, 10 astronauts a year? Not for this mission, apparently. Hey, I'm Derek, by the way. Derek Muller? Aren't you that science and education YouTuber guy? Uh, Veritasium. Yep, that's me. Wow, cool. Hopefully that experience comes in handy today, huh? Here's hoping. What's your name? Oh, sorry. Uh, my name's... Okay! Here it says one of our finalists is called... Derek. And the other one is... Up. Oh, there's no name. What the heck? That's weird. Uh, sir, my name's... I'll just call you dude. Okay, so, Derek, what's your experience? I have a PhD in physics education research. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, what else? I have a YouTube channel. It's called Veritasium. Wait, you are Veritasium? Well, like I said, Veritasium is my channel. Guys, I... it's Mr. Veritasium. Holy smokes, this is so cool. Oh, uh, oh, I almost forgot there's someone else here. How about you, uh, dude? You're, uh... <laughs> Experience and stuff. I have a STEM master's degree. Wow, that's pretty cool. Thanks. STEM what now? Well, it's a master's degree in many science, technology, engineering, and mathematics fields. It's actually one of the basic requirements to become an astronaut. Oh, really? How did I miss that? I I'm sorry, Derek, but yeah, those are the rules. Ugh, fine. You both pass. What? See you tomorrow for the next stage. Oh, this sucks. I mean, sure, Derek is great and all, but he made it to the next phase just because the general likes his videos. Maybe there's more to him than meets the eye? Ugh, I don't know. But either way, tomorrow I'm gonna beat him. In an adult and civilized way. Okay, Space Cadets, today we're going to test you on the Mastiff. Oh, I know what this is. It's the multi-axis space test inertia facility. This is used to train astronauts on how to regain control of a spaceship if it's spinning out of control. Nobody asked. Okay, uh, dude, you go first. Good luck. Pfft, me? Uh, <clears throat> th thanks. Okay, and off you go. Regain control now. You have, uh, 10 seconds. 10 seconds? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, let me, Ugh. oh, come on, come on. Just a little bit, yeah, phew, oh, done. Wow, that was incredible, nicely done. Thanks, Derek. Oh, time was a bit short, to be honest. Yeah, I'm kinda nervous now. Your turn, Mr. Veritasium. Hey, uh, you sure you can do this? Well, I once did a video in zero G, so here's hoping. Yeah, here's hoping. You fail. What? What? Guys, time's money, come on. That wasn't so hard. You actually did it? I guess you pick up a few things while you're making educational videos. Whatever. You two pass. Next test. Okay, what's your flying experience? You go first, dude. Okay. <laughs> I have over 1,000 hours as a pilot in command of a jet aircraft, which, by the way, is the minimum qualification. Just saying. Cool, cool. What about you, Veritasium? Well, nothing like that. But I once drove a strange propeller craft vehicle. Oh, I've seen that video. <laughs> that one's great. Th thanks? I love you, Mr. Veritasium. Uh... Can we jump to the test already? Come on, dude, don't stop. You want to be an astronaut or not? I'd do much better if you didn't distract me. What's that? Uh, uh, nothing. Psst. Hey, Mr. Veritasium. Sir, my name is Derek. Can you guess what's my favorite video of yours? I'd really prefer if we didn't. It's all of them. They're all my favorite. Come on, come on, you got this. You know this stuff. You've been preparing for so long. Thank you. Hey, dude, wanna grab something to eat? I heard there's a space food cafeteria down the hall and- <sighs> Listen, I, uh, who am I kidding? Derek, I don't like you. I, I mean, I do, but you're shattering my dream. I followed all the steps, studied so hard, and then you came here with your overpowered YouTube experience and... I mean... Ugh, forget it. Come on, they haven't selected us yet. You're also a great choice. Stop being so polite! Now I feel guilty for venting! Sorry. I'm just gonna go home. 
Let's see what happens tomorrow. What happened? I guess I'm not going to space. What? But isn't the choice going to be made tomorrow? Honey, they love Derek so much, they're probably gonna adopt him. Wow, I'm so sorry. Ugh, don't be. I even told them how jealous I am, like a complete loser. I don't deserve to be picked if I'm being honest. Hey, don't say that. Anything can happen tomorrow. Honey, there's literally, absolutely no way I'm going to be picked for the mission? Before your ego skyrockets all the way to Uranus, we picked Derek first. But he declined. Uh, what? You declined? Yeah, I had to... Because your conscience was too heavy after I told you all those things yesterday, because I didn't mean any of that! Dude, no. I mean, well, yeah, you made me feel bad, but... But that's not the reason. Oh. Are you... crazy? No. Did you chicken out? What? No. Then what's your reason for rejecting the best job in the world? Well, if you read the fine print, which you should always do before signing, it says quite clearly that it's a mission with no return date. No return date? What What does that mean? Worst case scenario, exactly what it sounds like. You can still just burn this and say no. I did it. <laughs> I, I did it! I, I'm going to space! Woohoo! Oh yeah, who's going to space? You're going to space! Yeah, baby! Oh, yeah. <laughs> You are going to space. So you don't know when you're coming back? Well, honey, it's a mission with no return date. I'm gonna be discovering the secrets of the solar system and beyond. This has always been my dream. Just be sure to come back safe, you hear me? I will. I promise I'll come back. Hey, uh, Astro Dude. United States of America. Uh, oh, uh, it, it's an honor. Same, uh... Hey, be sure to bring back some of that space oil, okay? See ya! Uh... We told him there's oil in space so he would fund the mission. Work like a charm. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Wait, 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 wait. Ever since I was a little ball, I dreamed of being an astronaut. Years of training and sacrifice, all for this moment. The one everyone always talks about looking at the Earth from the heavens. They say your perspective on life changes once you see it. If that's true, then- Hello, you... little guy. Welcome to space. Hey, Earth, tell your Earthlings to stop trying to propagate around the solar system like friggin' lice. Oh, oh, I want to see. Hello, Astro Dude. <laughs> Astro Dude, come out, please. I think we freaked him out. Houston, the, the, the planets, they, they, they talk. They called me a, a, a Astro Dude! Astro Dude? <laughs> Where have I heard that before? Sir, am I losing my mind? Hmm, perhaps I can bring someone to help you with your planet problem. Bring the expert! Astro Dude needs help! <sighs> Sir, my name's... Wait, the expert? Yeah, I'm Steve, the guy from that sciencey YouTube channel. Wait, Steve Taylor from Korskatakt? Oh, I absolutely love watching those... First we science, then you can fanboy. Your boss told me you don't know what a planet is. Uh, I obviously know, but I wouldn't mind you explaining it to me. The main theory of how planets are formed is called the nebula hypothesis. In short, when a nebula collapses, it releases a huge cloud that orbits a young star. Through a process called accretion, this cloud accumulates and creates... Planets! Heck yeah! Wait, they also added some rules back in 2006, right? That's right. A planet must orbit a star, it must have enough gravity to be spherical, and it must have cleared its orbit from other big objects. Dude, I can't believe I'm speaking to Steve Taylor! Okay, let's keep going. Is it possible for a planet to, I don't know, talk? That's all the time we have for today, Astro Dude. Wait, but I was just getting to my point, and my name's... Astro Dude! Earth to Astro Dude! Not again. Okay, don't talk back to them, they're not real. La 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 la! Listen, we weren't trying to scare you, so we're sorry. That's why we made a space cake out of asteroids. So if you come out of your ship for a second so we can chat, that'd be nice. Ooh, a cake? Let me light up the candles for you. Scratch that. 
get out of here! Now, run, Astro Dude! What is going on? Ah! He's our friend now, R right? Hey, Astro Dude? You've gone silent for more than 10 seconds. Are you dead? No, sir, I'm... I don't know! Everything I thought I knew about the universe is wrong! How can I live with myself now? I don't understand anything anymore! Well, neither do I, but I know an expert who may be able to help. Wait, did we get Steve Taylor to do another one of these? Nope, I'm Chris DeKau. I do Minecraft builds on YouTube. How's that of any help? Well, I did once model the entire universe in Minecraft. The entire universe? What, no joke? Nope. And let me tell you, I think I've actually cracked the code. The universe is a... Wait, but if you can recreate the universe in Minecraft, th then that probably means I'm right. The universe is a lie. It's like a, 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 a simulation where planets thought, right? Well, I don't think so, Astro Dude. In a simulation, like my Minecraft universe, there are tons of glitches and inconsistencies that can occur. If our universe was a simulation, we'd probably get those kinds of errors in the laws that make up our universe, like the laws of physics. But we don't see those errors anywhere. In fact, the laws of our universe are extremely precise and consistent. So, yeah. We're probably not living in a simulation. <sighs> okay, okay. Y you know what? Maybe a YouTube Minecraft builder is just what I need to ease my mind. Of course. It's also possible the simulation is just taking shortcuts we haven't even thought of when replicating the universe. I certainly took some shortcuts when building my universe. So, who knows? Maybe we are being simulated. Or, you know, we could be inside a video right now. But, 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 but if that were true, I mean, what happens when the video ends? Rotsar mission log number one. Uh, so planets talk. Either that or I've lost my mind. Right now they're gathering for some horrific event. I fear for my life. Hello, planets! <laughs> Welcome to our newest competition! Do we really have to do this every- Yes, we do! <clears throat> what I mean is we have to celebrate what makes each of us special. Well, I don't need a reminder. <laughs> Shut up, dude. This time, the solar trophy will be rewarded to the planet that's closer to every other planet. Uh, son? Yes, father? <laughs> See what I did there? Yeah, uh, how exactly does that work? We're usually closer to the planets near our orbit. Exactly! This is dumb! Well, there must be a planet that's closer to every other planet on average, right? Uh, hey, wouldn't that be me? You? Ha! <laughs> What gives? Well, I'm closer to the sun. So? Well, think about it. Even if you were close to, let's say, the Earth, most of the time the distance between you two is very large. Same thing happens with everyone else. And how does that make you the winner? Well, the distance from every planet to the sun doesn't change much. And since my orbit is a lot closer to the sun than most of you, I'm never really too far away from any of you. That's true. Nice one, Mercury! Whoa! Mercury Way finally go, wins Mercury. one of these things! You're the man! I, I mean, the planet! In that case, the winner of the Sun Trophy is... Mercury! Gee, thanks, guys! I, I don't know what to say right now, I'm so... Uh, oh. oh boy! <sighs> hey, Houston, when am I getting my first mission? It's getting boring up here. What am I? Your royal buffoon? Ugh. Can someone find a magician so Astro Dude stops complaining? I am down, if you don't mind. Holy guck! Wait, are you Dan Rhodes, famous YouTube magician? How did you get in here? Magic. That's so awesome! And illegal! But anyways, my higher-ups here in Ratsar have some strict rules about who we send to space, so... Don't worry, you don't need to send me anywhere. You must be Astro, dude! What? Wait! Are you Dan Rhodes? Famous YouTube- Yes, yes. Pick a card. Okay. Uh, I'll pick this one. Oh, God, I blew it. You sure? Because it's also possible your card is going around the planet's orbit. That's very unlikely. If an object moves too slowly through a planet's orbit, it'll crash down into the planet. And if it goes too fast, it'll fly off into space. But if it moves at the right speed, 
Is this your card? Wow! That was so amazing! It's... It's... Uh, it's not my card, though. Uh, but I mean, the fact you're here right now is magic enough, so bravo! Well, you win some, you lose some. See you, Astro, dude. Look at this! Where did these cards come from? I don't know. But hey, now that we found them... Space Poker!